Okay, good afternoon and welcome to Ian Ashulchan Aruch. You want to come, Elia? You want to sit here? Well, I don't know, five minutes. I don't have too much longer. Elia is going to join me. I'm a new friend, Elia. He made the best decision of his life today. What was the best decision of your life today? What was the best decision? The best decision he made was to subscribe to my channel. Because now he'll never miss the amazing content we produce day in and day out. Of course, we do provide amazing, produce amazing content. Eliyahu will never miss it again. Baruch Hashem. He's not part of the Toim, right? We say in Uval Zion. What does it say? Um... What is it? Uh, you shouldn't feel people that stray. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you are straying from the path of Torah, the path of Judaism. I guarantee it, or your money back. All right, anyway, today, Eliyahu commented, Eliyahu was yesterday part of the Ian Shulchan Aruch, and I mentioned yesterday that you're not supposed to wear your tefillin. The Mishnah Bura says you're not supposed to wear, you're not supposed to move your tefillin, readjust your tefillin during Shemona Esrei. I suggested maybe it's a wrong thing to do. It's not just you don't have to. Uh, it's, it's the wrong thing to do because you're supposed to be thinking about positive things during Shemona Esrei, what you can, what you can reach your goals in life, as opposed to regretting the negative things. Um, so Shmuel, so Eliyahu came over to me and he said today, you know, I don't know if it's really us or you know, I mean, from what I was saying, it sounds like it's the wrong thing to do. I didn't say it was Usher. I just said that's not the purpose. But Eliyahu had a big chiddush today. He said maybe it's Usher because once there's no chiyuv to do in there in tefillah because there's some other chiyuv. So therefore, just like you're not allowed to, the Gemara says you're not allowed to do certain things in the middle of Shmona Esrei. You're not allowed to talk in the middle of Shmona Esrei. You're not allowed to have a hadas in the middle of Shmona Esrei. You're not allowed to uh, I mean, make a shake lulav. I don't know. They put their lulav down. They they shook their lulav during Shmona Esrei. They didn't. No, the Gemara no. said they didn't. They didn't shake. If only one person really loved the mitzvah, you shook the, 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 the lulav. You're supposed to put your lulav down. You're not supposed to think about other things. You have to have kavana for the tefillah. So maybe it really would be usher. That's Eliyahu's addition as chiddush to help explain my chiddush more. Right? You explained it more. He's giving you more of a hezber. So now you're gonna hear today's chiddush. Tell me what you're doing with today's chiddush. Today we learned the halacha that when you take off your tefillin, right? Even on erev Shabbos, you're wearing it the whole day on Friday, and Shabbos comes. Shabbos, you're not supposed to wear tefillin. Everyone paskins Shabbos and Yom Tov or Lav Zman tefillin, who they're not the time for wearing tefillin. If you have kavona to wear to be kind of the mitzvah of tefillin on Shabbos, you're over in Baal Tosef. but you don't make the brach. What's the brach? Lishmar chukav. Now. What, what is this bracha, lishmor chukav, right? What does it mean? Where do the words come from, lishmor chukav? You're, you're keeping the chukim of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, right? What is that, where is that coming from? Because the Torah calls, Tefillin, it says, chukam uh, yamim yamima, that's what the, the Pasuk says. So the Gemara says, machlok is tanoim. We also have Lili Darshan, chukam yamim yamima, tell you that yamim v'lo leilos, says yamim v'lo leilos, yamim yamima, some days and not all days, Shabbos and Yom are excluded, right? So it doesn't make any sense. So therefore, you're, taking, you're making a bracha lishmor chukav, right? What, why the mitzvah of tefillin, uh, the mitzvah of tefillin is a chok, right? It's what? a chok, right? So what does it make sense to lishmor chukav? You're taking off your tefillin. You're not wearing your tefillin, right? It should be lahasir chukav or, you know, something like that. It calls it a chok. A chok, generally people mean, you know, a mitzvah we don't understand the reason. So we don't pass anyway like Riyos, the pass in Kirby Akiva. Uh, that the reason you don't put on tefillin, Laila, it could be Zman tefillin. You're allowed to put Zman, uh, you're allowed to put tefillin on it at night, which would make sense. What I'm saying, the point of, of tefillin is that you should do Cheshma Nefesh, and one of the main times to do it is in the morning and the night. You say Kriyashma, you mentioned Ukshar Dimosayedaka twice in the morning and the night, two times to do. If you're not going to do it the whole day, you're not going to wear tefillin the whole day. Most people don't wear tefillin the whole day. At least you should do Cheshma Nefesh during the day and during the night. But how, how do you explain this pasta? So I want to say like this that. It calls it a chukah. It calls it, right? So, chok means choku mishpat, right? Two types of mitzvahs. So there's chukim and mishpatim, right? A mishpat is something we understand. A chok is something we don't understand. That's what Chazal tell you. That's the, the drasha of Chazal. But chuk, chok also means something else. Chok means a portion, right? A portion, a chok. Chukah, a chok. The lechem chuki, uh, the Gemara in Beitza, says that... Um, Chukai, that, that, that your food is is like a chok. It's like a daily portion. A chok is what is 
supposed to be given to you on a daily basis, like a, a stipend. So therefore, tefillin really is a chok, meaning either you could learn like a drasha of chazal, that tefillin makes no sense, because why are you wearing these boxes on your head? But if you learn, no, there really is a reason behind it. Like I'm telling you, the soda, the mitzvah, is flesh by nefesh. So then it's a different pshat and chok. The pshat and chok is it's a portion, right? In the morning and the night, you have a meal in the morning and the night. You have to have a meal of cheshbon and nefesh in the morning and the night. What? What does that mean? Night. 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 They made the bracha and they took it off at night, Lishmar Chukov, right? Because they were learning that tefillin doesn't make any sense. They didn't know the reason behind tefillin, right? So we don't know the reason behind tefillin. We don't know this reason of Cheshbar and Nefesh. So why are you doing it at night? It's, the Pasuk says Yamim, Yamim Vulalelos. But no, if you darshan, I know the soda of the Pasuk says Rabbi Akiva. I know the soda of the Pasuk. The soda of the Pasuk, the deeper meaning is it's Cheshbar and Nefesh. It's not Chok Midin, I don't understand, right? It's Chok Midin. My portion, and I have a portion of Cheshma Nefesh in the morning and a portion of Cheshma Nefesh at the night. And therefore, I darshan the Pasuk, Glishmar Kukov. So then you might say, according to Rabbi Akiva, he says, maybe Shabbos is Yom Tov, you should also wear it, right? Maybe you should also do Cheshma Nefesh and Shabbos in Yom Tov. So Akiva says that, that it's called La Osal Yadecha. It's filling is called an Os. It's, it's a remembrance, it's a sign that you should do Cheshma Nefesh. Shabbos and Yom Tov themselves are, 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 uh, are an Os themselves. They remind you themselves. Because everyone knows that on Shabbos and Yom Tov, and Shabbos Yisera, people are more careful about Kedusha, right? If people speak Lashon Hara during the week on Shabbos, they're more careful not to speak Lashon Hara. You sit at the Shabbos Suda, right? People start bringing up Lashon Hara, right? You feel a hergish. There's a, there's a feeling in your mind, in your, in your heart. I don't want to speak Lashon Hara. Not nah, Shabbos. Kedusha Shabbos. Shabbos is Kodesh. Yom Tov is Kodesh. I don't want to ruin it. So you already have the Os. So therefore, you don't have to worry about doing a Cheshba and Nefesh because you're already careful about what you do and you regret if you do something wrong. What do you think about today's share, Leo? Better than yesterday? Every every day is better than yesterday. There you go. All right. You have it from a real subscriber in real time. Your wife has a cigar also, no? Nah. Tell your wife and her nah, friends. Just... All right. You do it for her. All right. Leo, give me five. We did great today. Leo, you're welcome every day to come on this share. Any Thank share. You. All right. Be well. Have a good day.